princesses, today I'm going to be doing an updated skincare routine. This bathroom is fully tiled and super super echoey, but also it's a bit of a weird one because the window is behind the camera right now and then this is like the vanity. So if I face this way, like my face is super super dark, so I'm going to try and face this way for today and uh, we will see how that goes. So lately I've been gifted a whole bunch of new skincare and I wanted to show you guys in real like live action how it works and how I use it. So obviously it is the morning, I have my ears on because I have a fringe so I need to keep it out of my face. And I'm going to be using the Sioris Cleansy Softly Milk Cleanser. This one is really really nice in the morning because it's like a cream cleanser so it's super gentle. I use about three pumps which so gives about that much product. And then onto dry skin, it'll just like massage it in. If I put it onto wet skin, I find that me personally it doesn't work so well. It just kind of feels like it, it's not like it disappears, but it kind of melts away a little bit and I don't feel like it cleanses the skin quite as nicely as it would normally. But this is super, super gentle. It's not a product that I recommend for nighttime use if you wear makeup or if you get like um, really congested skin or anything like that. But if you want something that's really gentle to just cleanse off basically like the extra skincare from the night before, this is one that I really, really like. Plus it smells like I'm in a spa, so it's really nice. And then I'm just going to wash this off with water, which is probably going to look super, super awkward. And when my face is still a little bit damp, I'm going to use my serum. This is the Serious Spring Light Serum, which I really like for the morning, but it's not one that I really use at night. I especially like the packaging. It's got one of those fun pumps on top that come in and out when you screw it, which is really nice. And so I'm just going to pat that onto my skin before it dries out. I would like to dry my face thoroughly because I feel like it gets too dry. So if I leave a little bit of moist like water on there, it does stay a little bit more moist. So the Sioris products were sent to me for a review by Credit Think. So I've already talked about what I thought about them in an actual review. Something else that was sent to me that I haven't been able to use was from Juki, which they told me how to pronounce it now, J-O-O-K-E-Y. Um, and it's a product by CCLIN Glam. I think it's a luminous serum. So when I worked with Juki, they gave me two products to choose and they sent me two products. This is one of the ones that they sent me, but it contains, uh, I think it's Galactomyces, this one. Lactobacillus ferment, which means, um, it's a fermented ingredient and I can't use it on my skin because it breaks out into like a bunch of like rashy hives, which is super terrible. But I didn't want to mention it because they did send it to me and I think it's really fun. <laughs> so it looks like a little light bulb, which I think is so cool. And it's pink, which I also really, really love. It has like a little screw top and a dropper top. So I can't really say much about this product other than that visually I think that it looks so cute. And unfortunately I haven't been able to try it, so I'm just going to be giving it away to um, someone who comes to my house to pick up some makeup basically. Now that the serum has soaked in, I'm going to move on to my cream. This one is again by Sioris. This is the Stay With Me Day Cream. And so I take about two pumps of that onto the tips of my fingers and I'm going to do like a little rubbing sort of motion to get the cream to sink in really evenly. I don't tend to pack creams in, I only like really liquidy products. I don't know what it is about it, but I feel like with the cream serum, so much more slip to be able to gently wipe and things like that. So I'm just using like the tips of my fingers as well to do this, rather than like any pressure or anything like that. And this sinks in really quickly as well, which is really, really beautiful. And it's a lovely day cream. Again, it's not something I use at night, so I have a, a totally different skincare routine to, for the night, which I'll show you guys as well. But this is really, really beautiful for the day. I can bring some of it down my neck as well. And then to finish up, I'm using my trusty, trusty Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence Sunscreen. This one I use a fair amount of it. I'm not actually going outside today, so I'm not going to be super particular with it. Normally I use a bit more than that, so I just sort of do a big dollop all the way down my finger. But today it's more for like incidental UV rays rather than like I'm going to the beach or I'm going to be outside. Um, I have been going to the beach like quite recently, quite a lot recently though, which for me is abnormal, like I wouldn't normally. I do love the beach though, it's so nice. And so 
I have been wearing the clears on my face at the beach. I just have to reapply. But I did, <laughs> I did accidentally miss some spots last night at the beach and oh my gosh, it's terrible. Like you guys are tanned so quick because I have like kind of like olive tone skin when I'm actually tanned. So when I miss spots, it goes really dark. So like the worst spot is right here. <laughs> So like I got the top of my shoulder in the arm, but then I missed this one little triangle. So now I've got this triangle patch. Oh, it's so bad. So that is my skincare done for the morning. Normally what I would do afterwards is I would wash just my fringe, blow dry it, and then I would get on with my makeup and stuff. So I'm gonna go do that. And I will see you guys tonight to do the nighttime skincare routine. It is now nighttime. Um, Yes, the sunlight sucks in here, unfortunately. But I'm going to clean my face using the Juicy Bowl of Deep Clean Pores. I use this one at night time, normally in the shower. And it is quite good, but it is a bit strong. So I just use a tiny, tiny amount. And it lathers really well, which makes me believe that it is probably quite a high pH. That it does feel quite stripping. So it's not one I would recommend if you have more sensitive or more dry skin. But if you do get quite congested, it is pretty good. Um, it's sort of like a deep cleaning sort of thing. So it's not one that I use on a daily basis. Um, I have also in the shower a Pure May cleanser, which is that for you cannot see it. And so if I haven't been wearing makeup, I would generally use that. But I did want to show you guys this one as well. So like the bubbles disappear pretty quickly, but it does work really well. You just need to apply a bit more water. And so I will rinse this one off too. And then the next product that I'm going to use is one that I have bought myself. This is the I'm From Honey Serum. This one is one that I don't use every single time that I do my skincare as well. Because it does get, I don't know if it's heavy or if it's just too silicone-y. I have yet to decide what I really think about this one. It's not what I will purchase again because I don't think that it does that much on my skin. I feel more that it just is more loaded with silicones than actually anything else. That's my suspicion. I haven't actually uh, done like an ingredient analysis or anything on it yet. But it does feel super slippery. Um, it does feel like it moisturizes, but honestly, it's not that great. In comparison to the other things I have tried from I'm From, it's a huge disappointment to me. <laughs> um, but I think this also because I I have had the ginseng serum, which I loved, and the magnolia serum, which I also really loved, the old I'm from Honey Cream, which I also loved, and then this is the new Honey Serum, and I just don't think it's that good for skincare. I think it's a cool bottle, I think that everything about like the smell is lovely, but it just feels like it doesn't feel like it absorbs into the skin that much. And it just feels like it's cosmetically silicone so that your skin feels smooth, but it doesn't exactly do much. And I find that when I wake up in the morning, my skin does feel moisturized, but when I wash the skincare off, it doesn't stay feeling moisturized. So I think that it's more a cosmetic sort of thing rather than anything else. And then the last product is the Honey Glow Cream, also from I'm From. Normally I have a spatula, but I normally don't do my skincare in my uh, bathroom. So I'm just going to stick my finger in it like a heathen. This I definitely like more than the honey serum, but not as much as I like the old honey cream. The old honey cream was super thick. It gave you that like really beautiful glass-like skin effect without feeling too heavy. That one was one that I couldn't wear during, I could wear it sparingly during the day. This one I can wear during the day a lot easier. It's a lot thinner. It's more like a, I say like a gel like, Consistency is quite thin and spreadable, and it is really, really nice throughout the night, I would say. But on top, laid on top of that, um, on top of the serum, I feel like my skin looks really shiny, which is nice, but it doesn't look like it doesn't feel that moisturized in the morning. So I'll finish off both of the products because I like them enough, they're not doing any harm to my skin, but. Honestly, with the honey products, I don't think that they're going to be one, so I'm going to repurchase. The cream, I would recommend. It does, it's nice. Um, it's a light, not even a light. Like, I wouldn't, I don't use it that much during the day. Like, a medium moisturizer. Like, it's not super heavy, 
but it's also not super light. I think when you don't fire air it with the serum, it works probably a bit better, but yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. So that is my updated skincare routine. It's a lot more stripped down at the moment. There are a lot of new things, but there are still like my old favorites, like my Pure May cleanser is still there. I've got my second one of that. Um, and I'm not using any toners at the moment, mostly because I'm just using the stuff that I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!